now we're going to talk about the smoking of tobacco. Uh, within the period, the smoking of tobacco was sometimes referred to as the drinking of tobacco. Uh, tobacco in the 17th century would have uh, been stronger than tobacco, most tobaccos we have today. And that's why you sometimes find images of people smoking, uh, people puking after they smoke tobacco or when they're standing near someone who smokes tobacco. Uh, this also can be allegorical uh, uh, yeah, to show the disgustingness that some people thought that smoking was. If someone wanted to start smoking, uh, they either had to or cut down the rope tobacco uh, with a knife into smaller bits, uh, or they had to open uh, their tobacco tin or the, uh, their paper tobacco package, then they would fill their pipe. Pipes were mostly made of white clay, and in the 17th century they would have relatively small bowls. The higher class pipes did often have longer stems, and uh, they were often varnished. And as, the, and as the century went on, it became more fashionable to have even longer pipe stems, to let, uh, to let the smoke cool down before it reaches your mouth. From about the 1630s, 1640s, we see uh, a higher level of uh, pipe accessories, mostly by the rich. Uh, for instance, pipe uh, thampers. Uh, for, for instance, a lower class person would probably just use a piece of wood or something else uh, to thamp their pipes. But a higher class person would probably use a purpose-built uh, yeah, pipe thamper to show off. Pipes could be lighted in a few different ways. Uh, the most, the, the easiest is a candle. Uh, up from there we have uh, a burning piece of wood. Um, they could also be lighted from uh, coals or sulfur matches. These are small sticks of which the tips have been dipped in sulfur. This makes them easy to light with an existing fire or uh, with uh, char cloth and uh, flint and steel. Is it very fruitful? You also have brush lights. These are uh, pieces of rush, of the rush plant, that have been dipped in animal fat, and this uh, basically create, uh, creates a small, uh, thin candle. And someti uh, sometimes on paintings you can find uh, bundles of rush lights or sulfur, sulfur uh, matches uh, near a smoking scene. You could also light your pipe with hot coals. On paintings we often see uh, small bowls filled with coals. Uh, these uh, bowls could, often, uh, could also be put into stoves. Stoves are basically the 17th century foot warmers. Um, but these bowls are often used also as ashtrays or uh, to store hot coals to light your pipes. And lastly we also see match cord. Uh, these are the same. These are the same types of uh, types of match cord that you find in matchlock muskets. Uh, uh, the, uh, these cords have been treated to you know, to burn slowly. They're also called slow match. Um, and you often find these in smoking scenes uh, for people just to light the pipes with. Now it's pretty hard to find uh, historical correct um, tobacco. There are a few uh, companies who still produce it, but they're rare. Um, and it's almost impossible to find it in the Netherlands. Uh, maybe in the future we'll get our hands on, uh, on some good historical tobacco uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll let some people who actually smoke uh, do, a do a review of it.